so got a bunch of rocks here from the ocean um i'm gonna put coral in here um i have some fossilized rocks and whatnot but i think i'm just because i have a lot of everything I'm just gonna do the coral first um so i want to try to whiten this up so i I've been keeping this coral outside in my my garden and I just have so much of it and I would like to have it inside for display and just, I don't know, just have it look nicer. So I'm going to try to whiten this up. I'm going to use hydrogen peroxide. I'm not going to mix it with anything at all, just straight hydrogen peroxide. And I have three bottles. They're ready to go. Um, I bought those off of online, like Amazon. It doesn't, does it say how much? Oh, they hit it, 3%. Okay, so I'm gonna go to a store after I pour it all in because I feel like was, like just that one rock like kind of filled up that whole thing. Cool. And sometimes I can barely tell if it's like coral or coquina, just beach stone. Like, okay, that's coral. But I feel like we're gonna need more than three bottles. And then after I do um, coral, I'm gonna do all these other rocks and stuff. And that'll give me a chance to wash these off better. So I did hose these off. They've been hosed off several times, obviously, and rained on because they're outside. Okay, so let's start with that. Let's pour it in. Okay, that's one bottle. And I'm just using a big bucket. Um, <laughs> this is like the size of a Home Depot bucket. Uh, I actually found this on the beach. It'd be awesome. This is my famous bucket I always use but I don't take it out on the beach shelling anymore <laughs> because it's starting to rust and the handle is like kind of getting broken so now I just leave it at home for stuff like this all right so hydrogen peroxide oh yeah we're definitely going to need more okay so there's a lot of dirt coming up and stuff um I actually did hose these off and stuff. I didn't take a toothbrush to these. So maybe before I do my next batch of rocks and coquina and sandstone, I'll take a toothbrush to those. But for the most part, like they are hosed off. So we're gonna let those sit. I'm gonna get more hydrogen peroxide, pour it in, and we're gonna let this sit. I don't know for how long. We're just gonna keep checking up on it and uh, see where it goes. I'm also going to keep this outside in my garden. Um, I'm going to keep it on the sunny side just because that will help lighten up, help lighten up the, the coral. All right, guys, so it has been uh, three days that all this coral has been sitting in the hydrogen peroxide. So I'm just gonna take it out. Obviously I'm outside, you can hear everything. And I am just going to lay all of it out on the pavers. And I'm gonna let it sit out in the sun for, I don't know, probably a week. I'm gonna check on it tomorrow. So I'm gonna let it sit for a whole week. So, so far, I can definitely tell that it is whiter. Some pieces are still really dark. I'm thinking, I wonder if I should let this sit a little bit longer. That piece feels pretty brittle. So I think what I'll do is I will take a toothbrush I'm simply just going to kind of scrub these a little bit. It's 
So this one didn't get cleaned up very well. So maybe I'll scrub them a little bit with a toothbrush, dunk them in and out of the hydrogen peroxide. And then I'm gonna let them sit out in the sun for a week. The water is very dirty. I think if I do this again, I'm making sure that Everything is cleaner. It doesn't really affect it at all, but I don't want everything sitting in dirty water. Or Definitely cleaner. They'll need a little bit of rinsing off with some water. Because I do see this kind of dirt floating around on them. But I'll do that. That's it. And all in all, this oh, there's more. So this took six six um, bottles of hydrogen peroxide that I showed you, and it still didn't cover it. There's just a little teeny bit left, so I just filled the rest up with some water. It wasn't a lot though, but I did want them to be submerged. All right, so this is what we're looking at. I'm going to scrub them with the toothbrushes a little bit and uh, rinse them with water, let them sit, and then we'll check back in and see what they look like. All right. Good morning, everybody. So, <laughs> these, <laughs> baby, these are the pieces that we put in the hydrogen peroxide, and I let them sit out in the sun for seven days, and they turned out so good, you guys. I think I would let them sit. First of all, I think I would scrub them a little harder with a toothbrush to get all the grime out before I put them in the hydrogen peroxide. I would also leave them in the hydrogen peroxide for a lot longer, but considering the length of time that we did it, I'm really happy. Um, these are very white. Um, if not white, they're as white as they could be with the, a lot of time that we gave them in the hydrogen peroxide. So I highly recommend doing this through white any coral you might find on the beach. Now, just um, want to show you guys really quick. I constantly have a hydrogen peroxide going because I don't want to waste it, but I put these in and um, while the coral was sitting out for, what did I say, seven days, I actually put these rocks in. Now, this isn't coral. It's, um, it's just like a mix. It's a mixed bag of fun. So you've got, you know, like sandstone and coquina just beach rocks just stuff like that and now i just took them out yesterday i did not rinse them off with water so i want to let them sit out for a couple of days but just by letting these sit in the hydrogen peroxide for a lot longer i saw much better results immediately so just a fun little fact so that's it so if you are thinking about whitening your coral, I would definitely do it this way. Um, yeah, it's easy and it's it doesn't hurt anything, which is good. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and my new video will hopefully be coming out soon. Look at that, that's so pretty. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you like anything you guys ever see. Make sure. Remember, you can always buy it on my Etsy page. Bye, guys.